to all the men I've known and loved, who are actually just dear men. <laughs> I want to thank you all for taking care of things for so long. You've done a great job. <laughs> Made some excellent art. Probably produced 95% of the movies and TV that influenced me as a young girl in need of influencing. Because really, there wasn't so much opportunity back then for the ladies. And I could have done with some more female stories, a hell of a lot more. But it was tough. I mean, we could use pseudonyms or be an anomaly, a token female filmmaker, that was allowed. But really, it was you guys who held the reins. Pretty tightly, actually. Phew. It was hard to wrestle those reins out of your hands. But now I just want to thank you for moving along a little, sliding over a wee bit and creating space for us, which I have to say we have filled very nicely. It's like we were always supposed to be there. And I know it's hard. We've settled in and it doesn't look like we're going anywhere. In fact, there are more of us on the way. And we're very happy to be here. Years of storytelling are spilling out of us and it's gratifying for us and for the audiences watching and listening. All we need from now on is for you to think twice, maybe even three times, before automatically handing the baton over to another safe pair of hands to the experienced male voice. You still control the majority of the purse strings, so be brave, be strong, and join us and other more diverse voices than ours to inform and entertain. Of course, it's difficult when there are time-tested stories out there that you know sell, but just think to yourselves, if you tell the same story over and over, then what do you learn? That 14 Spider-Man films in five years is a bad idea and yields diminishing box office numbers? <laughs> Help us to continue to invoke change and to keep this vital and interesting time in our arts and culture alive and thriving, or don't, because we're already here. Yours with love and deep respect, Sharon Horgan.